It's showtime, folks! <laughs> The gang, welcome back. I'm here once again. I'm here to talk wrestling. I'm here to talk WWE. Uh, but in particular, I'm here to talk about the backstage news on Asuka going to WWE Raw. But before I get into that, I'd like to ask you, if you're a wrestling fan, if you love wrestling, if you love wrestling talk on a weekly basis, like this video for me so that I can reach wrestling fans across the world. And also, if you are on Twitter, feel free to follow me at SwissArmy94. So, let's get right on into this. Alright, Asuka had a pretty special vignette that ran last week on Raw that said she was coming to Raw. And according to the backstage news, as we get right into that, uh, it was noted on the Wrestling Observer Radio that officials went back and forth on which brand she would be sent to. The feeling was that the depth on Raw is not as strong as on SmackDown and that Asuka will be better off on Raw. It is believed that Asuka, and this is a partial spoiler alert, it was believed that she will debut sometime in October after she recovers from the right collarbone injury. So, as for the first part of that, Clearly, the depth, the depth on Raw is not as strong as SmackDown. I, I, I clearly agree with that. But it's not on the numbers alone. It's on the fact that Raw has consistently shown since the Superstar Shakeup that they cannot consistently book two angles or two feuds at one time, two women's feuds at one time on Raw and make them look good. Like the only thing going for them normally is the title feud or the, the, the feud that's being held over the women's title. The other feud is normally something just to pass time. And SmackDown, you know, for a while after the Superstar Shakeup, they were booking two feuds consistently really good. And then now they've kind of fallen off like Raw, but they only make one feud very important. But since all of that, you know, the, that, that is why the depth on Raw is not as strong as SmackDown because at the beginning, you know, the, the ladies on SmackDown looked really great and they're going to survive even though the, the booking on SmackDown is kind of turning into Raw. So Oscar going into Raw, uh, it's interesting. And looking at uh, her possible first feud, I don't know who, who's that going to be, but... It was always my opinion that Nia Jax would be the feud that they would get kicked off with. Just a par partial guess on my part. And they have very different differing styles, kind of like Sasha Banks and Nia Jax, with which makes a very good good match. The styles make, makes the fight. So I would like to see that happen. Uh, maybe Nia Jax getting thrown into this title race. Maybe that's a reason uh, for her to win the title and then go off to face Asuka. I don't know. Or maybe they just ease Asuka into action by facing someone else like Emma, Mickey James. We'll see how it goes. But looking at her debut time, uh, we're looking at October. Now look, obviously Asuka can't win the title and just go on a 300 and something winning streak. You ran into something day winning streak because the women's division is just not as deep as the men's to where you can have something like that happen. But what they can do with her is they have to bring her in strong. If it's sometime in the fall or in the winter, they can push her up all up and all the way up until the Royal Rumble. She can get a title shot there, win the title there, and have a substantial run throughout next year. Now, at what point in next year does that time come when she loses? I'm not sure. But whenever she does lose, it has to be someone who's been built up really well, who needs to push, and could really benefit from beating Asuka. So, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to Asuka on Raw. All of it should be interesting. I found the vision interesting, and I'll be keeping a close eye on it. All right, that's the end for this video. Like this video, 
And comment down below. What do you think about Asuka going to Raw? Do you think she should have went to Raw or SmackDown? Who do you think she's going to feud with? Anything that you have to comment about wrestling related, comment down below.